Hi guys, this is day 71 to 80 of the Copper State series. And in this one, we stumble upon a secret bunker in the middle of the desert. But before we do get started, if you did want to support the channel and help us reach my next goal of 20,000 subscribers, go down and subscribe now, or maybe just drop a like instead. Thanks guys, now let's get on with the video. All right, we are back. Day 71 in our little house here, looking pretty good. Let's get ourselves some low calorie food to have a little snack on first, I think. All right, there we go. Let's bring the map up, see how we're looking here. Okay, so I think the first order of business is to get into here and probably clear this area and then maybe we go up to these ones i think yeah before we hit this town because so we're probably going to be in this town a while to get into all of these buildings yeah it's going to be interesting to see what's in this town but let's let's crack on actually shall we do shall we do these storage lots first maybe you never know we might find something cool in there let's do them today and actually take the sledgehammer because that'll be easier all right, so we're in the back of the train station. We got anything good in here? It doesn't actually look like I want to check out these shelves. No, nothing really. All right, let's smash up some doors here. Load of books in there. Load of trash in there. Not going in the ones with zombies in there. I'm not risking it. Again, we got some hardware stuff. Nothing that we really need. Uh, we got some food in this one. Okay, very good food, but. Now, I tell you what I wouldn't mind finding, actually. Oh, a trident. What the hell is that? Well, I know what a trident is, but... Yeah, what I wouldn't mind finding is actually a generator. And then a petrol station to fill our car up. So we're getting a little bit low on the old fuel. Oh, we got some food here. Some low-calorie stuff we will take. Ah, we have a generator. Okay, that's good. That's good. And we have another generator. <laughs> well, I won't say no to that. Oh, what's this then? There is no cure. Uh, this guy knew, didn't he? Didn't have any guns though. All right, let's grab the generator. How much space we got in it? Yeah, we got plenty of space in the car here. Grab some food. So we probably won't push up today. We'll probably hang around here a little bit. But what we will do is check these houses, see if there's anything, anything we can see in there, anything worth taking. Why not, eh? How many 556 we have on us? 500 rounds, so that will do nicely. Are all our mags filled? Yep, okay, perfect. Yeah, we've done most of the houses, not really a lot over here. Pretty basic stuff, really. Yeah, we just got tired, so good job we didn't head into that town. All right, but it's 10 past 10. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We'll push up into that town. We will see you then. All right, day 72. Let's get some food in us, something low in calories. Right, let me just double check where we are going. So we're just going to come out of here, go along here, and we get to the town okay right let's get up there let's clear it out with a rifle happy days job done i'm gonna drop some of this food off in the car as well i think we don't need all this on us there we go we got some chips we got some tin stuff we should be fine let's go you bastard god damn it oh yeah we should probably put our aircon on as well <laughs> will the truck make it okay so we are coming up on the town here let's get out let's leave the car running Let's go melee just to start. Maybe clear this area out. Oh, and there goes the machete. It's fine. We got the bat. Oh, look at this car then. <laughs> Some kind of station wagon. It does have storage on top. Let's have a look at it. I mean, it is a Mercedes. Eh, not that good, really. The storage on it, even with the top bit. Oh, look, we can get to the shops from here. Should we do it? Yeah, let's go to the shops today. It's a very small town, actually. Yeah, we do have a gas station down there, which is good. So we want to top our car up, or a car if we find a new one. Um, okay, so we got a convenience store, real estate, and beer and liquor. Okay. A lot of trailers by the looks. Let's get the gun out just to draw them to us. Well, looks like they're coming on over. That's it, yeah, we want them all over. So it doesn't look like there's that high a pop here because it's quite small. So we just make it easy for ourselves, draw them all over, it just saves us time. Looks like most of them. Oh, we've got a straggler down here. Come on, you bastard, wait. Oh, and here. And here. Can maybe look at, yeah, grabbing a few more cigarettes while we're here. There we go, 20. Grab a spare box of matches and a lighter as well. Okay, looks like we got a restaurant there. That is fine. So there's not actually that much in this little town, apart from the local zombie population, but we're making short work of that, so. 
Yeah, pretty, pretty nice town to be honest. Now let's dismantle this because otherwise it's going to be a bit of a nightmare trying to get our car through that road because it's blocked. There we go, look at that. Yeah, we will fill the car up today because why not? Yeah, look, we're down to a quarter of a tank, bloody hell. Oh, we're going to get through here. Yeah, look at that. Okay, let's see if there's someone in here that we can empty for fuel for the generator. What empty bottle will do. Yep, soda bottle, we'll drink it. We don't need a lot of fuel, just enough. So Siphon that out of our truck. And there we go. The truck is full. There you go. Right. Let's go and try and find ourselves a house for the night then. Let's try and get back through here. Oh, we're struggling a bit this time. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we done it. We done it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So we're going to have to drive a little bit because I want to get up into these tomorrow. That could be a day's hike there, you know. How is it getting over that? Oh, they're train tracks. Hmm. I think we might walk that, you know. I don't want to drive on it. Let's actually check the condition of the car. Yeah. She's uh, she's seen better days, hasn't she? Yeah, engine's still okay but i mean the hood is wow <laughs> okay yes yeah, so i think we'll walk it we'll take some food we'll probably stay up there in the night but let's clear this house oh we got guests come on you bastards i'd rather have you now before i go to bed get out of it okay it looks pretty secure no what we'll probably do is we'll probably drive along here and then walk up yeah i think that's what we do okay but it's 20 past 10 we're gonna go to bed tomorrow yeah we're gonna go and see what them buildings are we shall see you then okay day 73 let's fill up our water while we do have it here there we go food wise i think we're looking okay yeah we're low on cows but that's fine which means we can just eat some chips and stuff let's get a quick smoke in us there we go right let's just get on get driving and find out what them little buildings are i'm interested to see okay so we're near that little dirt path it means we are going to do walk we're going to have to walk but it's fine don't want to risk the car to be honest with you I'd rather risk getting scratches from the cactuses okay so we made it to the little dirt path so it looks like there's probably gonna be like a caravan up here or a trailer okay so we have made it yeah it's a trailer we got a barbecue outside a lot of rubbish outside interesting got some dog kennels maybe some kind of testing oh we got overalls well coveralls surgical gloves yeah there was something going on here wasn't there box of five five six yes please box of nine millimeter yes please maybe some kind of little military testing area or something okay interesting interesting now the next thing we want to get up to is up there now that's quite a walk so we better crack on if we want to get there before we get tired there's quite a few zombies around up here which i'm whoa which i'm surprised about ah we have actually cut ourselves as well damn it right up her arm okay is that going to affect our swing speed mm, yeah a little bit i think okay we are nearly there though okay well we we're here what the hell is this it's like it's like a bunker look at this oh mate look at this i'm so glad we come up here anything in here no doors are open as well maybe there's a good stash of weapons in here or something this is cool this is really cool what's this generator okay so it's a pretty small bunker but it's still bloody cool toilet bunk beds look at this no guns or anything but still pretty damn cool anything else around here no okay okay that's good yeah so we gotta walk all the way back tomorrow maybe we actually mm, walk back and stay in this caravan and then we head into this area i don't know we'll see how tired we are when we get back so we're nearly gonna be tired now yeah so we can't walk back today oh i love this this is cool it's a little bit out of the way but you know as bunkers should be all right it's 10 o'clock we are gonna go to bed tomorrow yeah we're gonna walk back through the desert we'll uh we'll see you then okay Okay, day 74. We have awoken in the bunker. Let's just get a move on today. Let's grab some food first, though. Um, Yeah, let's have some fruit cocktail. Let's have another little bit, actually. Canned peaches. Why not, eh? Get it in you. Right, let's fill our water up because it's... Uh, oh, sprinting up. Nice. Yeah, let's fill our water up because we're trekking across the bloody desert here. Swing speed is back to normal. All right, let's do it. Let's get back to our car, or at least the trailer to start with. I and mean, the one good thing is we've not wearing... Oh, look at this bastard. The one good thing is going through the desert with hardly any clothes on. You ain't got to worry about ripping your clothes. Only your skin, but... You know, we can live with that. Okay, so we made it back down to the trailer. Yeah, 20 past 7. I think we can push to that town today, you know, to hell with it. Let's do it. No point hanging around if we don't need to. We got the gun anyway, so. 
49 degrees, so it looks like the temperature might actually be dropping, you know, because I'm sure we was in the 50s, or maybe we just got a cold day. All right, we're back at the truck. How many 556 do we have on us? 430, I think that will be enough. Let's have a quick smoke, get rid of them tin cans. Right, let's, yeah, let's get on down to that town. Let's turn the AC on, we cannot forget that. We do not want heat stroke again. Okay, so we are coming into the town. Looks like we got some locals. Let's perch up in one of these houses, I think, down here. The hell is this? Even a house? Yeah, yeah, okay. We're gonna leave the car running. We've cleared them out by the looks. Look at this house. A fancy house. Oh, here comes a welcome party. Look at this. They got a bloody treadmill and everything in here. Okay. Okay, pretty pretty good house. A lot of windows though. Okay, let's let's clear the area a little bit, I think. Wait a minute. Look at this house. This has already been barred up. That could save us a job. Just gotta hope the door's open. Um, there is no door. <laughs> okay, well, that's fine. We can build a door. Oh, they just, they can go through the windows. Brilliant. Hey, John, we didn't sleep there. What's up here then? Oh, bloody zombies. That's what's up here. Some shipping containers. Oh, there's a lot of bloody zombies around here. Ah, you bastards! Ah, scratched. God damn it. Good job he didn't take a bloody chunk out of us. We're tired, we're injured, this is not good. Oh, bloody hell, that was lucky. That was lucky, let's turn the car off. Wow, yeah, that, that was lucky, okay. Swing speed isn't too bad, actually. Now, we need to secure this house if we're going to stay here. I mean, it's as good a place as any to stay, to be fair. We just got to board the windows up a little bit. So lucky that wasn't a bite. <laughs> I mean, we can still turn from a scratch, but I, I think the chances are very low. And we have Lucky as well, so. Okay, we barricaded up here. We are tired now, but we should be fine. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe we go down on foot down here tomorrow with the with the rifle, you know. How's our weight looking? 79 dropping. That's absolutely fine. Let's fill our water up. How many boxes? How many rounds? We have 438. Okay, let's grab another couple of boxes of 556, I think. And also put these 9 mil away. Okay, we got three boxes. Let's open them up. 498. I mean, that, that should be enough, shouldn't it? <laughs> you would have thought. But it is half past 10. We are going to go to bed tomorrow. Yeah, we'll go down on foot we will see you then okay day 75 we have awoken let's grab ourselves some more water because who knows what the hell's down there let's also get a packet of chips in us we go right lovely let's uh let's get walking down there then yeah we'll go on foot scope it out and then possibly take the truck down tomorrow if there's any places worth looting oh look we got a scrapyard here oh look at that a bloody street sweeper i think we'll get the rifle out Let's go check this bloody road sweeper out. Looks like it's a little bit battered, but still, yeah, this is definitely some kind of junkyard, isn't it? Um, yeah, no, it is. Uh, <laughs> it's not in the best condition. All right, let's keep uh, keep pushing. We'll try and get to them blue buildings, as I said. Oh yeah, look, we got a load of bastards here. We are starting to jam quite a bit in the rifle, so we may have to change it out. Yeah, if we clear as much as this as we can on foot, we can actually just drive down then, because these blue buildings, there could be some good ones down here. Come on, you bastards. There's a lot of them in the in the desert here. All right, well, we're getting, we're getting through them. We're making our way to the blue buildings. We're getting there. Okay, these look like new builds here. Yeah, look for sale. There's no grass or anything. Interesting. Yeah, pretty quiet down this end as well, to be fair. Could it be a school? Because we got some, what's this, basketball courts here. Yeah, that's a school. A lot of schools. Tell you what though, this Spiffo van's in pretty good condition. So is that station wagon. Ah, uh, not too bad condition. The station wagon's got pretty good boot space, 90. Oh, we're getting surrounded here. Oh, brilliant. Oh yeah, look at this, look at this, wow, okay. Okay, yep, gotta, uh, gotta be careful here. <laughs> Okay, so it's 20 to 3. I think we'll probably start heading back now, you know, and we'll, we'll probably drive down tomorrow, I think. I reckon we got most of the bastards. Let's go through here. Still a load of zombies around our house here. Let's just shoot them. All right, let's have a quick look what other 556 we've got in here. Now, these are pretty much exactly the same. Let's take the XM15 Custom, I think. Yeah, let's go inside and change it all over. 
Oh, they broke my door. Sounds like they broke quite a lot. Oh, they haven't got in here, have they? No, they're trying to. They ran the back, you bastards. Okay, so we got the Bushmaster. We haven't put any attachments on it yet, but... Looks like it's got two mags taped together. Does that might mean it's faster reload time then? Don't know if it is any faster on the reload, but it's fine. Okay, we will put our rubber rifle back in the truck because, you know, we might need it in the future. Okay, so the rest, I've taken the rest of our bullets out and we've got 626 and that is our lot. Oh, reloading up. Nice. Yeah, so when we run out, we run out. I guess we're going to the pistol. But it is half past ten. We're going to go to bed and we will see you tomorrow. We're going to the blue buildings. Oh, Jesus. They broke in. They broke in. Good Lord. They broke in. Oh, they're in. They're in. Is that it? I think that's it. Just empty. Right, we need to board that window back up. <laughs> oh, my God. I nearly had a heart attack. Yeah, it's probably ain't the safest place, is it? <laughs> okay. Now we're going to go to bed, hopefully, and we'll be, uh, we'll survive. We'll see in the morning. Okay, day 76. We have awoken, safe and sound. So let's just get cracking and push on down to them blue buildings, I think. Hey, we are here. We may actually look at moving over to this station wagon, maybe. Just see what kind of condition it's in. Mm, it has a bumper, which is more than our car has. Has it got fuel? It does have fuel. What are the tires like? One of the tires is, mm, we get a tire repair kit. Doesn't have the key. I think, I think we take it. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. At least it's got all its windows. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? What is this? Okay, mm, this is not in the best condition. I see a policeman, so it tells me this could actually be a police station. Oh, there's sheets on the window. Looks like this building to our south is another school. Again, we're not, not interested in schools. We've done uni. We're in uni. You know, education is wasting on us now. We need to learn life skills, survival skills. How to use an AR-15. A police station or what? Come on. Ah. Or is it just part of the school? And that's boarded up in there, but that's just an office. I think it's part of the school, isn't it? What about this blue building? Oh, there's a station wagon out with roof racks. That could be interesting. Yeah, I think this is like one big school area, to be honest. Oh, look at this. This didn't end well in here, did it? <laughs> Survivor station wagon. It's not in bad, Nick. The other one is better, I would say, though. A bit of water up in here. Right, what is this building, then? Mmm, some... I don't know. Something. <laughs> Nothing we need. I mean, the Spiffo van is probably the... Ah, uh, the best. Although this does have a front bumper, so... Mm, if we can find a fixer flap. Do we have anything to move the fuel over with? 90. So it takes 90. What does... I'll take 105. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so everything moved over. We are going to have to pour one of our canteens away. All right, we've moved all the gas over. We are tired, so we're probably going to go back for the day, I think. But yeah, she uh, she runs. Again, just driving around with a boot hanging open. She's quite nippy as well. All right, but let's get out of here. We'll come back down this way tomorrow. Yeah, she is quite nippy, which I don't know is a good thing or not. Okay, we are home. Hopefully, we won't have a repeat of last night. Well, I say home, our little temporary base. That even it doesn't even have a door. Oh, we was oh god, we're queasy. Gotta lose this temperature. <sighs> we lost it. Okay. It's the car that's doing it to us. Okay, but it's ten o'clock. We're gonna go to bed. So actually what we'll do first is fill up our empty water bottle. Oh, that's got gas it's got still got gasoline in it. Alright, there we go. Right, now we're gonna go to bed. We'll see you tomorrow. Alright, day seventy seven. We have awoken safe. No in interruptions in the night last night. <laughs> but I think we'll just carry on searching and looting this town in our new wagon here. Got be careful of the temperature we really have let's get that on oh no what oh i thought it was broken <laughs> okay there we go the aircon's on bloody hell i thought it didn't have aircon then or something we'd have to move all the fuel over again but we're fine we're fine don't think this heater is as good as the other one maybe we look at repairing it because yeah it is not lowering the temperature fast enough we will get out and just leave the car running oh what we got here then looks like a fire station get the rifle out we're too hot to be using the bat okay looks like we got a load of them this definitely looks like a fire station doesn't it okay well really what we wanted but let's just bring the old map up because where are, yeah there's quite a few loads of little blue buildings around isn't there that we need to go in i think we'll hit this one up and then we'll do them too as well that's the plan 
Let's do it. Let's also look at repairing our heater or see what condition it's in. Oh, heater's on 73, so... So, okay, it should be cool. Yeah, minus 31 in there now. That's fine. <laughs> just panicking. Always panicking about the heat. Oh, okay. I just saw some kind of tent, so it could be military. Oh, Jesus, we jammed. Good Lord. That was lucky. Or unlucky, depending on which way you look at it. What is our aiming skin, actually? I say, yeah, so after level five, we're gaining oddly anything, but that's fine. We don't we don't really need any more levels in it. Got another survivor station wagon by the looks. Okay, what we actually got down here then? Oh, look at this jerry can. We could have done one out earlier. What actually is this building then? Blue on the map. Um, oh, it's a bloody church. A church tent. What the hell? Right, let's get over to them other blue buildings to our north. I just love this map so much. I love the desert. Oh, look at this place. A lot of zombies in there. <laughs> See you later. Another scrapyard there, is it? Possibly. Okay, let's get out. Let's get the gun. Let's just start blasting fools. See, this could be a bad idea because there could be a hell of a lot of them up here because we haven't been north of the train track yet. Okay, looks like we got a lot of them. Okay, what is this blue building then? Doesn't look like a police station. Oh, does it? No, it looks like some kind of community hall or something. Okay, on to the next then. Another bloody church. Okay, so we got all of these to do tomorrow. And also this, which could be like a little strip mall or something maybe. Which would be pretty cool. But I think today we head back. Yeah, because it's, it's 20 past three, so. All right, we are home, safe and sound. How's the old weight looking? 77. Okay, let's just get some in high calorie in us. So have some cereal. And then some peanut butter, I guess. Yeah, we're gaining a little bit. That's fine. Okay, but it's 10 o'clock. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're going to keep on pushing. We'll see you then. All right, D78, we've awoken. I did hear some bastards out here in the night, I think. So, yeah, we got one here. Let's actually turn the car on and get it cooling down in there. There we go. And let's do a little scope of the perimeter. Hmm, doesn't look like there is, actually. Maybe it was just that one outside. Ah, we got a sneaky bastard here. Get out of it, lady. Oh, yeah, there's a few over here. Okay, so, yeah, we want to come along here, then we'll go in here, I think. Yeah, we'll clear this one, these ones first. Okay, looks like we're here. Let's just get out the car, get the rifle straight away. No messing. I think as well, because it's nice and open, we can see them as they're coming over, which is really helping us. Okay, it looks like we got a lot of them. Now, this building is actually barred up, so here's zombies in there. Bloody community center, okay. Let's go check out the next one. Maybe some kind of government town hall or something, I'm thinking. And it is a library. <laughs> oh, vehicle schematics, windows. I swear we knew how to make windows. What else we got in here then? We might as well have a look, haven't we? Vehicle schematics complete collection. Okay, hood, let's read it. Trunk lids, seats, rims. Okay, so maybe now. Now we can actually craft everything for KO5. Do like how they give you like the full box set if you like. All right, well, let's get out of here. Let's go and have a look up at that strip mall, shall we? Do you want to just have a quick look what shop this is? Oh, it's for lease, so it's <laughs> probably going to be nothing there. Now, what about this place? Bogger clothes, Gigamark, Enigma books, beer and liquor. So I don't actually know if there's any guns here either, any gun stores. What about further down here, these blue buildings? I'm a bit hesitant to get out, but don't have that many bullets left. Let's do it, let's do it. Could be a bad idea, but oh well. We got this, we got this. Okay, we are very low on 556, so what we're actually going to do is put this away. That's fine. We'll take the 45. We got six double stack magazines, so yeah, we're going pistols for now. We have 554 rounds for it, so that's fine. It starts jamming, we'll switch to the Glock. Right, what is this building then? Another bloody library. What? Is as well. God, they really like their books around here, don't they? Now, there is also a... Oh, that could be a post office, actually, because there's a mail van there. There is actually this blue building here, but it's burnt down. <laughs> Probably the police station. Oh, no, that was another church, by the looks. This, this is a police station, though. Do we try and take this truck? Maybe, maybe. Oh, this guy had a machete in him. Yes, look at that. Amazing. 
Right, let's get in this truck, see what we're looking like in here. Don't have the key, that's fine. What kind of condition is it in? Oh, it's in pretty, pretty good condition, isn't it? That's in really good condition, actually. Oh, I think we gotta take it, you know. What space we got in about 100? Yeah, we gotta take it. I'm thinking maybe we just sleep in here tonight because we're gonna have to move on anyway tomorrow. Well, here's the armory. What we got? Okay, MP5 will take. Survival rifle, nice. We don't really need any more rifles though. We need 556 and a shotgun. Okay, well, not a lot in here to be honest. But that truck out front could be a real winner. Of course, we are going to have to move all the fuel over again. Unless there is a jerry can in there now. What about in here? Come on, be good to me. No, but two empty bottles will take because that'll save us emptying our water out. Okay, let's park them up close together like this. We may as well move the stuff over tonight. Can we get in both? Yes, we can. Let's put that on the floor. Oh, God, we're hot. We're queasy. We're queasy. Why are we queasy? Just bloody cars. Well, right, we've got to get out of there because we're getting queasy. 38.3, bloody hell. Oh, okay, okay. Actually, you know what we could do? Let's grab this, pour it on the floor. Should be able to top up with this now. Just try and hotwire it before we overheat. How is the battery on this? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so it should start. That's fine. <laughs> I actually got all the fuel out of it. Amazing. Oh, God, this is not good. Oh, God, we are so hot as well. Get inside. All right. Bloody hell, we have lost Queasy, but my God, we are low on health and endurance. And I hear zombies banging around. Let's just get in here where it's safe. Good Lord, that was, that, that was, that was stupid. That was risky. Look how low on health we are. Okay, well, I mean, it's 20 past nine. We're just gonna, let's reload on mags, actually. The zombie's trying to bash him, but we should be fine in here. Let's go to bed. We'll deal with it tomorrow. Hopefully we survive. Temperature's 37, so that's fine. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 79. We have survived. Luckily, there is a zombie broke in here during the night, though. We gotta be so bloody careful for that temperature. Whoa, Jesus. What a start, eh? What a start to the day. Right, we gotta try and get this bloody car started. There's been a bit of a nightmare hot wire in it. Okay, there we go. Let's fire it up. Get this heating on. Get it on court. Right, get out. Get out! <laughs> Just let it cool down in there. That's fine. Grab ourselves some mac and cheese. Grab ourselves two mac and cheese. <sighs> right, okay. It was touch and go there for a minute. It, I will not lie. It was bloody touch and go. All right, let's bring the map up. We've pretty much done all I wanted to do around here. Yeah, we've hit up all the blue. Probably, probably head back home then. Stop off here because this could be, I mean, there's some shops here and stuff. It could be another little military checkpoint or something. Yeah, okay. Well, that's the plan. We're going to wait until the temperature goes down in our car. It's at 58. We might be all right. Let's, let's risk it. We can always jump out anyway. It's only going to get colder. Right, well, let's get the hell out of it. We got some nice bull bars on here. It's not the fastest, but it's probably one of the safest. We are out of here. Okay, so we are coming up on this little area. This? Oh, look at this. AA Rons. There was a hunting store there the whole time. So close to us. Oh, and it's open as well. Look at this. Nothing really so far in these bits. Probably some good clothes, which we can't wear. Okay, okay. So we can't get to the back from here. And actually, let's just bring the sledge in. We may even stay here the night, you know, because it looks like there's quite a few little shops here I want to check out. Okay, so we got a Ruger, a Remington, a Weapon Light. Anything good out here? I don't look like there is, to be honest. Gun cleaning kit, uh, 556 9mm, or 556. Not a crazy amount, you know. But at least we've got somewhere to sleep, which is fairly safe. How about buying these display cabinets? No. <laughs> Nothing at all, really. Wow, okay. Well, there you go. Just go and put us back in the car anyway. Okay, well, at least we got somewhere somewhere to sleep and stuff like that. We will, yeah, stay here the night, and then we'll do the rest of these buildings. So actually take a tent out of the back. Take tent down. There we go. Look at this. Perfect. We've even got somewhere to sleep here. Set the tent up in the bathroom. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> okay, what we actually got in here then? This looks like a grocery store. Yeah, not worried about that. And then what's... The What's this? Uh, oh, food. Okay. Yeah, let's take a bit of food. What's this? Another little convenience store. Some angry locals. 
Okay, so it looks like they are just houses. So no military tents or anything. But, you know, I'm glad we come down here. Even if we didn't really get that much loot from the hunting store, it's still good to check it out. We'll take some more bin bags from here as well. Okay, so we got four more bin bags so we can make another rain collector back at base. How is a carp? Carp were nearly... We may as well just grind this, haven't we? Surely we can get it fairly quick. Oh, we got some ammo here in one of these back crates. 9 mil, we'll actually take it. Because so we do have an MP5 now, which is good. Ah, and there we go, we got carp. Lovely. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Well, we got that extra level which we wanted, so we can actually build a good... A uh, bigger rain collector back at base now, which is amazing. Oh, Jesus, we're just getting caught. We're just getting queasy from being outside now. Yeah, it is hot out there. Jeez, how hot is it there? 56. Okay, well, get back inside. Yeah, we're not We're not in a good way, are we? Oh, God, we've got to take some clothes off here. Bloody hell, that is not good. Get some food in you. Try and recover that health. Bloody hell. Get some more food in you. Good Lord. Well, we dropped now. We're on 37.4, so we should be okay. But, yeah, wow. We, uh... We gotta take all our clothes off. Maybe we, I mean, it's not really giving us much protection anyway, is it? So, I mean, the helmet probably does give us a little bit of protection. Should we just wear the helmet? But we are, we are just in our underwear. <laughs> okay, but it is 20 to 10. We're just gonna go to bed, I think. We're, we're in no fit state to do anything. So, yeah, hopefully it's nice and cool in the bathroom. I mean, it's 40 degrees inside. Just have some more food, just in case we start getting ill in the night. We're bored, but I don't care. I'd rather be bored than dead. Okay, let's get to bed. Uh, let's Let's actually have a smoke first, but yeah, we'll go to bed. Hopefully we survive the night. We'll see you in the morning. All right, day 80. We have survived the night <laughs> in the heat. I mean, I think inside you're okay. It's just when you go outside. I mean, when the temperature's in the 50-odd, that's when you have a problem. Also, when we go over 37. But, whew, yeah, wow. But let's bring the map up anyway. So, yeah, we've pretty much completed everything I wanted to do. There is some few other little bits that we will go and explore. But, yeah, we're, in the next 10, we're probably going to head over to base, do some improvements, make it a little bit more livable down there. But we're probably not going to do a lot for the rest of today, as we never do on a 10th day. So we're probably going to leave it there for this episode. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers! Just want to give a massive thank you to all of our YouTube members, but a big shout out to everyone on the Shambler tier. John Smith, Rob Jones, 309 Basehead, Akuna Whiskey, Mugdaddy Too Cool, Norm Slater, Sudsy34, Jasmina Composition, Geek Love Nails, and A Coach in Lunacy. Thanks guys, really appreciate it.